hello friends welcome back to my channel happy friday it is about that time to do our expense tracking and get these envelopes unstuffed so this money can get back on my credit card i did really well this week y'all with the spending i had a lot going on um not good things um this week has been very stressful for me and i did not do a lot of spending so this video is going to be fast y'all i literally have five transactions that took place this week um good for my funds um but yeah the week has been rough you guys um so i'm gonna go ahead and write down all the expenses at once to save us some time and then i'll go ahead and place them on the day that they took place so the first transaction was on the 19th and it was for groceries from Walmart. I spent $223.32. I'm just gonna write groceries. On the 19th, we also spent money at Walmart for Christmas. And that was $29.20. Okay. the 21st we spent money for Christmas as well and this was for my secret Santa gifts y'all I picked up a little bit too much I'm when I do buy gifts like I like my gifts to be great you know <laughs> so I think the budget for each gift was $25 and I ended up spending a little bit more than that so my total for both my secret Santa gifts were $7 $70 and some change $70.76 to be exact is what I spent in Walmart on my secret Santa gifts um and both ladies loved them so I'm so happy about that Okay, and then on the 22nd, we did Einstein's breakfast, of course. I'm doing well though, because I only went there one time this week. I spent $10.71. And then on the 22nd also, I took my daughter to a McDonald's. Okay, and I spent $11.79 bam all right so let's go ahead and get all of these transactions on the appropriate day so i said groceries on the 19th where are you 19th way over here okay y'all i'm filming this video at what time is it 5 4 a.m in the morning everyone in my house is still asleep and i'm wide awake of course because yesterday off and on all day yesterday i was sleeping so like i'm like bright eyed right now and i thought this was the perfect time to film this video i wish you guys could hear the rain it is raining here in arizona i know it does not happen often but it's pouring down right now so yeah perfect time to film this video um the 19th that christmas transaction the rain would pick during christmas time to come right okay and then the secret santa transaction was the 21st so we're gonna skip the 20th go over to the 21st I did get some no spin stickers, but I think all the new stickers that I just bought, I am going to start using next year. So I'm just going to write um, no spin on the 20th because I'm saving all my beautiful stickers for my new budget book. And then these last two food transactions was on the 22nd. Okay, so that's all my transactions, not a lot. I know you guys are used to me writing down so much. Okay, and one thing I'm missing is my little handy dandy calculator, y'all. 
let me go get my calculator and I'll be right back with you guys. One moment. All right, friends, so I have my calculator here. So we're gonna go straight into our wallet first. There's two categories, grocery and fun, that we need to pull from in there. Okay, so we're gonna go straight to grocery first. 223 to be exact, the change, we're not gonna worry about the change. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So we went over by $23.32. $23 um, so we're gonna have to find that money somewhere. But let's go ahead and pull out all of this. So $100. We're pulling out of groceries, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and check mark that transaction. And then we also need to pull out this fund. So we just need 1071 plus 1179. So we need roughly 2250. So I'm just gonna say $23 we need from fun. So let's see what we have in here. Now remember last week or last step and I told you guys that I had put $80 in here because my anniversary well, I end up not spending, well, I just actually spent um, money from here for the tip my husband paid for our dinner. Um, so we still have a lot more in here than what I was expecting to have by today just because I didn't pay for that dinner. Um, but we need, what did I say, y'all? $22.50? Um, I'm just going to round up to $23. I'm going to actually break. Well, let's do this. Let's do $25. $25 from, um, we're going to do $25. Just going to round up. So, $20 and a $5 for these funds transactions. And we still have um, $70 left in fun. So, that's more than enough to get me through until next Payday. So let's mark off these fun transactions. And we have two more. So we need to go to our Christmas envelope. Oh, let me close this the right way. Okay. All right. So. Let's see here. Christmas funds are definitely getting low. I still have one more thing to buy. Just one more thing. And then I'm completely done with Christmas. So we need to pull 29, 20 plus, oh yeah, 29, 20 plus, 70, 76. Oh no, I put 776, I wish. And I keep doing it, 70, 76. Plus 29, 20. That's why I need a bigger calculator, y'all. My little mini size calculator. It's been doing the job, but my fingers are like way too fat. Okay, so we need basically $100 from Christmas. $99.96. So we need to take $100 from here. And I do need to update this tracker. So we have 100, 20, 40. We literally have $140 left. I'm gonna take this $100 bill here and put that here um and i think this 50 dollars should be enough to get the last thing that i need to get for my daughter so let me just update this so minus 100 and that's gonna leave us with 40 dollars Oh, we really did go through that Christmas <laughs> Christmas money, huh? We're not going to have anything to roll over for next year. That is crazy. Okay, so $40 is left in Christmas. All right, so let's go ahead and add up all of our transactions and make sure we have at least close to what we should have. Oh, wait a minute. 
the groceries was let's go back in here y'all because we were over by $23 for groceries and we do have a little bit in our rollover so we're gonna go ahead and take that rollover money um, to put towards the groceries so with the little um, okay so that $20 is coming out of rollover so that little bit of extra money that I pulled from fun the couple dollars that I pulled from there along with this rollover should cover that $23 um, that I went over in groceries so let's see how we're looking all right so 2920 plus $70.76 plus 223.32 plus 10.71 so we should have $345.78 over here off to the side so we're going to count that right now to make sure we have that okay let me check mark off these two transactions we're done with those all right, let's see here. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, y'all. Yeah. So we have $345. So we literally just have to take 78 cents from our bank account to get all of this money back onto our credit card, y'all. Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as my daughter would say. <laughs> all right y'all so thank you so 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 much for watching another cash expense or expense tracking with me slash unstuffing i appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos remember my goal is to try to at least get as close to a thousand subscribers by my birthday january 22nd as i possibly can so please recommend my videos share my videos Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And leave me a comment down below and let me know that you stopped by. Until next time, my friends. Bye.